entrepreneurs create a balanced and healthy lifestyle by providing tools, tips, and resources that elevate health from the inside out. Every episode, myself, along with a featured guest, share our steps to feel good daily journeys on my globally recognized show, Steps to Feel Good Daily with Lana. Hi, and welcome to Steps to Feel Good Daily with Lana. I'm super excited to be here with my lovely guest, Kirsten. And I did say that, Ker Kirsten. I want to say it right. I hate that when people say my name wrong. Uh, I have a niece named Kirsten, and I have a tendency to say Kirsten, but it's Kirsten like Care Bear, and she does care about so many people. So I'm really excited to introduce you to her. But before I do that, I wanted to show you some of my, my um, little tools that I use um, to feel good daily. Um, this is all one thing. It's called Copaiba. It's amazing. I use this at night when I want to sleep um, to get a good night's sleep. It just helps to calm me down. I also have a 15 mil bottle that I can diffuse because you can use essential oils three different ways. And I love Copaiba because it's, it's the oil of the unveiling. And if you, if you just need to calm down at any time, it's great. And they also have a little touch. So that's my little bag of tricks for you today. So without further ado, I am going to introduce my lovely guest, Kirsten. I mean, my goodness, what can this woman not do? Kirsten. Uh, she is a rock star. She's so talented. And I will tell you a little bit about her. She has 30 years of experience in training and performing in theater and opera. Oh my gosh, that just scares me to death, the mere thought of that. Um, <laughs> she is the founder of Body Language Strategy Academy and works with international speakers and executives in Fortune 500 companies. Oh my goodness. I am going to bring her up from the green room. Uh, let me do this and do this. There we go. I'm going to bring her up. So the reason why I asked Kirsten to do this show is because to express less stress. So how to uh, <laughs> express less stress from the inside out, when you are a performer, mm -hmm. I can't even imagine what that is like. So that's why I asked you to be the guest, because every time I see you, um, I don't care what it is when you're working with women or on your show, anything, I am always like dumbfounded. How does this woman do it? So. Can you first tell me a little bit about yourself? I would really like you to do that because you have this amazing list of things that you have done in your life. Um, I'd like to do that first before I give your tip. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you so much for having me here today. Um, I, you know, I love supporting women and everything that they do. I love to see them step into the greatness. And, and I know the easiest way to do that is coming from that place of calm and confidence, right? And I've had a really beautiful experience and, and I've been so blessed in my journey at starting in performance as a, a performing opera singer and, and also teaching voice lessons and helping my students to go out and sing all across the nation. Um, you know, one of the things that we really focused on was how to be confident in front of other people, whether you're on or off stage. And so I had the beauty of doing that in that business, which was O'Shield Studio. And then at some point I took that and started working with business people and executives and Fortune 500 companies as an executive presentation coach, helping them to have executive presence and confidence and, and how to command a room when they were doing presentations and international authors. Um, so I was crazy blessed in that experience. And I've been very just <laughs> absolutely thrilled and overjoyed to now open my own business training aspect called the Business Leadership Excellence Institute. 
And <laughs> thank you. And uh, we just launched that very recently. We have three different divisions in that. And it started with Body Language Strategy Academy. That's where I did the executive presentation aspects. We talked about body, uh, you know, how the body works. And the reason it's called strategy is because it's the mind and the body producing together, right? It's not just, well, you hold your hand like this and you flip your hair like that. It's not that type of thing. It, it's really about intricately connecting to yourself and then you shine that out at, at the greatest level possible. And that's what magnetizes really great business to you. So we teach magnetizing in that aspect in, and then the other division is the business leadership success, uh, excuse me, academy, where we teach now you take that to your teams, right? How do you manage your business and your systems with your teams? So it's, we go from the, the individual practice now to the team practice. And then my passion, I'm super, super excited about, which I was so excited to have you at the first meeting, is the Women's Leadership Coalition. We just launched that this last week, uh, had a fantastic meeting with just the, the most incredible, impactful uh, speaker, Joey Garrity. She's incredible. And, and so all of this has just been about stepping into how you're showing up right? On every level, whether it's person to person, whether it's you and your business and, and how you're relating to other people and how you're managing other people and then how you're showing up as a woman leader. You know, we, we have this incredible space for us to step into and we're creating, getting more momentum and it's all about connecting to yourself and connecting to others. Right. And that's about like, how you're shining shining on the inside so that you can shine on the outside and yes. have that have that calm presence which i know that when you have that calm presence it makes other people feel calm too right if you're like so yeah. nervous and everything it would make other people feel nervous so i really want to kind of tap into this less stress from the inside out because you are definitely the master of it <laughs> right so I had asked you to share a tip and this was your tip that you do to work on the inside so that you're shining on the outside and that yep. you're calm and comfortable on the outside. And I love, love, love what you say here because you read the Bible, you read scriptures. Um, Every morning. Yeah. And you do self-development books. So I'm guessing how many minutes a day do you do your self-development? If you um, I usually do about it's, it's 10, 10 and 10. So oh. I will 10 minutes of the self-development and then 10 minutes writing affirmations. And I, I feel like that it gets my mind, body, and soul all in alignment, right? From the beginning of the day, I, I get that energy flowing the way I want it to be connected before mm -hmm. I try to go out and connect with other people. And I feel there's such a huge difference when something comes up and all of a sudden you're, the morning's flustered and mm -hmm. I, I don't get that, that 30 minutes of like, hmm really hone it in right. and it affects the whole rest of the day it's not that everything goes you know out the baby with the bathwater, but <laughs> it really, it, it, i don't feel as connected i don't feel as aligned and so having those three major components getting in touch with myself getting you know that connection for myself with my higher power it's huge it's it's huge would you say it grounds you? I mean, it's kind oh, of yeah. like that grounding presence. You're making that connection. You're building that relationship with your higher power. Yes. And yes. I really, my, my personal feeling and my mantra for myself is you never really learn to trust yourself until you trust God. All right. That's, that's where you have that connection. And <sighs> stepping into the day is um, you have to be in that grounded space. Yes. So I like that you said that. I say, um, I can because he can. Right. So every time I'm feeling like I can't do this, I'm not, I'm not capable. This is too big for me. Then I just say I can because he can. And I think with that, it's absolutely amazing what we can accomplish, mm. but not just accomplish. We can accomplish it on the inside, but then we can express it on the outside, which then does what? blesses the lives of others right and the, exactly and yes. <laughs> where your candle starts lighting other candles and it just that glow spreads 
Right. Um, one of the other things I had asked you if you would give a tip. And then this was your tip. The breath is the key to calm and confidence. And I love that because even before the show, I was feeling a little bit anxious, right? And so you kind of showed me, can you kind of give us a little example of how this breath works, how you do it to stay calm? Uh, I call it ninja breathing. Uh, now, the reason I call it ninja breathing, uh, I've done martial arts in my life and ninjas are like the top cool factor, right? When it comes to martial arts, because they are so efficient, they're powerful in their movements. But what makes it what gives them that secret sauce and that extra cool factor is they all they do it completely silent. Right. So that's the key. So we want that same thing with our breath. We want a really active, flowing breath all the way through the system, not a high tight breath. We got to get that moving, right? Get that moving down into the system. And when we do that, but we do it quietly, we actually nourish the body more thoroughly with a higher level of oxygenation. And when we do that, we the whole all the muscles go, oh, thank you. And the brain goes, oh, thank you. <laughs> and it, it, it lets it, that trigger of the primal brain of that gets us anxious, right? That gets that fight or flight going. It actually turns that valve down when the breath is going at a nice, even pace. And that it is at its highest even pace when it's quiet, because there's no, um, there's no, cons uh, excuse me, there's no obstruction. So I'll show you an example. So if I were to blow through this right here, right, you can't hear it. Right. But if I start to constrict, you hear it. So if I hear, that doesn't mean you took in a big breath. That just means you're trying to blow through this really tiny, tiny hole. That's not relaxing to the body. So when it's silent, that means the body has opened and it's accepting that oxygen at its highest level. So when you say silent, is there is it kind of a silence that's happening within you? It's like because you're kind of doing this calm breathing as opposed to just like go, going. Is that what yeah. you mean? So then you're going, so it's kind of like more like a deeper diaphragm type of. A yes, breathing. it goes way. So I call it the slow and low. Mm -hmm. Right. You take you let the breath go down into the body instead of pulling it up. Because that's where the second lobe in the in the lung opens up. Most curious, you want to know what's crazy? This is how much of a difference in why we're experiencing so much anxiety and depression in our in everywhere in everyone. This is my personal feeling. <laughs> uh, only about a quarter of our society actually fully opens and expands the second lobe when they breathe. Oh, wow! Because we all have god awful posture except performers and athletes and people who have had training. So that's one of the key things I work with with my clients is making sure their posture is correct. So this, I'm diving into body language strategy right now. It's our number one pillar out of the four. So we have the body language success pillars are confidence, competence, trust, and approachability. And when you walk into a room with all those things, people go, who's that? Right? Instead of going, well, when did you get here? 10 minutes later, right? <laughs> so, and always, it's so funny people when I'm, if I email them, hey, I'm gonna be there, it's gonna be great to meet you. And they're like, how, how am I gonna know it's you? I'm like, no, no. Not <laughs> <laughs> because I, I have that, that magnetizing factor of, I know how to walk into a room showing the physicality of confidence, which is posture and breath based. And that's the core. It is the absolute core of a dynamic magnetizing presence. I freaking love that. I went to a networking meeting yesterday and they put my food on the table. So of course I walk down and sit down and start eating my food. And I, I hate it when I do that, you know, it's like, I want to go in. So would you recommend when you go in, just taking that deep breath? I mean, I'm very much a, a, 
a homebody kind of recluse type person. And for me to go outside of myself and go and meet people, even though I love them, if somebody comes up to me, I'm going to give you a hug. You know what I mean? But to, be, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be that person, to, to not have that fear and just walk in with complete confidence. I mean, do you take breath before you go in and question? I mean, I'm sure you've been doing this for 30 years. So you probably don't even have that little upset before you walk in. But in the beginning, if you go back, I mean, do you, and and then do you do that breathing? And then you just tell yourself in your mind, Hey, I'm going to go in there with confidence. I'm always very focused on, um, I, I want to greet everybody with my greatest self. So what I focus on is not as I'm walking into the room, it's before I walk into the room. I make sure I'm taking a few deep, the, the slow and low breaths. And here's, I'm going to give away a little secret. Smile before you start walking in the door. Ah, I love that. Mm -hmm. That's a game changer right there. Start smiling before you walk in the door because now you have received it first and then you get mm -hmm. to share it. <laughs> I, um, yeah, that's pretty amazing. So um, I had a little feel good. Um, let's see, here was mine. So feel good tip. So breathe in, in is the key. That's, that's yours. That's, the, that's yours, right? Yes. And then, so here was my tip. Take a walk. If so, then maybe this is what I need to do before I go into a place. Go take a walk if you can and count your many blessings, because I know that when I when I do that, if I'm starting to feel anxious and maybe expressing that on the outside, I can just stop and then walk. So I'm wondering if I did the mental aspect of like looking outside or just kind of pausing and taking that moment to feel nature in my heart and in my mind and breathe it back into my gut, <laughs> if that would help me. But I just know that if I don't feel good when I, if I count my blessings, I mean, my goodness, how blessed are we in this country? I mean, I don't know do other people not think about that, but every day I get up and I, and I have a toilet. I mean, I have running water, right? Like I have heat. I mean, we are ridiculously spoiled. I am so full of gratitude every day. Um, and I hope everybody else is too. <laughs> I love that. Well, and that's one of our mantras at the BLEI is what you reflect out is what is reflected back to you. So I love that you're you're keeping, you know, focusing on that blessing because then that's what you get to reflect out and be blessed back. Yes, absolutely. So Kirsten, I know because you do so many different things and so many amazing things that people really need in their lives. Um, can you tell people how can they reach you? Um, I mean, like, because I know you do a, like a program or something like that, yes. right? Yes. So you do, you do a program, but maybe um, how, how can they reach you to find out uh, more about what it is that you offer? And in these, are these like courses that you do? I'm just, I mean, I'm just curious. You know? Yes. So at the BLEI, which stands for Business Leadership Excellence mm -hmm. Institute, uh, we have multiple types of training. We have online courses that are available in each one of those divisions. So we have the body language strategy. It's called um, the nonverbal communication strategies for leaders. So there's actual training videos in there so you can get in there and learn. And what I always recommend is people like, okay, get that on there and then get a mirror and then practice, right? what you see going on so you can get that reflection back of what you're doing. Uh, we have success workshops that we do that are both an online workbook and in person. Uh, I'm very excited to be starting one of those in person here very, very soon. And that's a 10 week series that we do that you learn how to plan your success forward. Most people are always waiting for success. No, no, we plan it forward and then we step into it. So that's a game changer for a lot of business owners. And then, we have the Women's Leadership Coalition, which is a national um, online networking aspect mm -hmm. that we do every month. And then we have focus groups where you connect into your own industries. And this is all female run. 
We have these amazing female leaders that are running the focus groups in real estate. We have entrepreneurship. We have admin. We're adding on finance, um, you know, women who are in finance. Because leaders, we, we can get out there, we get it done, but we need that support too. And we need that feedback. We need that accountability. And we need our empowered sisterhood. So all, <laughs> all of this is available at www bleinstitute.com. So you can uh, go there. That's our website. And then it'll take you to, uh, you have the, op excuse me, you have the option to go to each one of the divisions and choose which one is the best fit for you. Oh, awesome. I love that. Makes it simple for everybody, right? <laughs> and I know that we're going to also um, post some information for people. If you don't know, you can reach out to me because I know how to reach out to Kirsten. So you don't have to be sad because we will definitely get you connected um, on this. Uh, so um, I think I had one final little share here that I wanted to do, um, but <laughs> I can't see it. So <laughs> let me see if I have it. Um, Okay. Well, I have yours, but I don't know why I don't have mine, but I don't know why I can't. I, I don't know. I don't know. What One thing is. I can share is a lot of people are like, Ooh, what does this look like to get in and, um, you know, experience this stuff at the BLEI? We do do personal assessments. So people can do a one-on-one. -on -one. They don't have to fully commit to a full program. Mm -hmm. um, they have just a one-on-one -on -one to basically give it a try and uh, you know also personal coaching that way so because this is what we love to do right we love to help women and and all business owners too step into the greatness with our shares good <laughs> well thank you i guess I'm not, I'm not really worried about it all i know is that for me i'll just share this because i know you said that you do your scriptures i do my scriptures i do my prayer um, I might do it a little differently, but because I use my scriptures when I listen to them when I'm getting ready, <laughs> I might be cheating. Um, and I do know that when we spend a little bit of time every day, I don't care if it, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, anything on self-improvement, building our confidence, we're always going to get better. If we improve, if you think about this, if you improve 1% a day. And I constantly bring this to my mindset about 1% yeah. a day, even if it was a half a percent a day, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's like you can make one different choice in a day and it can change your life in a week. <laughs> or, yeah. or every, a week. every little bit, right? Yeah. Every yeah. little bit. <laughs> yes. I thank you so much, Kirsten. Kirsten, there it is. <laughs> ah, I, I catch myself. I, 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 I just, I hate that. I hate when somebody calls me Lona or Lana or Luna. I've been called different names my whole life. So, Kirsten, Care Bear, love you so very much. Thank you. Um, you know, you absolutely gave us such. I mean, I would just say growth moments. Um, helping us to really know how to bring that calm into our lives to be able to express it. And I know it isn't something that comes easy because I know it doesn't come easy to me. And I, and from what you tell me, it isn't something, it's something you've had to practice on. It's not something that, yeah. that is just like this automatic, you know, I'm, I'm my amazing self, which makes me feel better that, yeah. I know that everything that it is, it's really about the steps that we take, isn't it? <laughs> Every single day. Yes. And I, I, one thing I had to understand and learn for myself as mm -hmm. I was practicing this and, and when I started in performance, I, yeah, I got nervous and I did all that too. Mm -hmm. uh, but I really learned energy is energy is energy. And we can choose how we produce it and how we share it. And that changed a lot for me of understanding I get to choose the energy that I walk into a room with, that I talk to another person with, that I walk on stage with, right? You know, I've never um, heard of that, but that is like, the, that's like the greatest tip. I mean, that is, well, not the greatest, they've all been great tips, but I'm saying that that is another great tip, you know, for me. 
I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose if I'm going to walk in the room and be nervous and scared, or I'm going to choose if I'm going to walk in with confidence. And I now have those tools to deep breathe deep into my gut when I'm walking into that room. Um, and remembering, I know that somebody had said, it's always like everybody else is just as uncomfortable as you. So step outside of yourself. So even like if I'm, if I'm teaching or I'm talking to somebody, I mean, all of these things have been these little steps that I've had to make to be where I am and achieve what I have today. And I know, I know if I can do it, anybody else can do it. <laughs> Everybody can do it. That's the point. And we invite you to do that because that's where you're stepping into your greatness and we all create greatness together. Yes. So building from the inside out. Thank you so much for being a lovely guest. I love you and you know that and I thank support you, you and I thank you for all the support you've given me. <laughs> My pleasure. You're such a joy and I am so honored to be on your show. Thank you. I'll talk to you. I'll see you. I'll see you in the green room. <laughs> okay, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, don't you just think she's amazing? I'm getting teary. I just thinking about how amazing she is and what she just shared with us. So um, thank you again so much for coming and we'll, we'll see you next Thank you for joining me today. You can learn more about me, my products and services at happyhealing.me. Make sure to join me for another episode every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time and 1 p.m. Central Time on my globally recognized show, Steps to Feel Good Daily with Lana.